So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create a personalized URL and publish it to a list in about five minutes using our application. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into the application, which is a software as a service via browser. I'm going to create a new asset for online content. I'm going to create that in, in my specific uh, demo project area. I'm going to create new online content, which is a folder on the server that's going to house all the HTML and graphics and everything and associate it with the list. So I'm going to call this Doug's test URL content. I'm going to select a record layout that's been predetermined by the application. Click create. And now I have an empty folder here on the server waiting the online content. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some online content that's been put in a zip folder that has all the HTML and everything needed to uh, publish a website. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to grab that folder, upload it into the application. And this website, I believe, is made up of, yes, five web pages, a style sheet, and all the associated images that go along with those websites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to personalize the starting page of that using the online content editor in the application and I'm going to take this uh, this paragraph here and I'm going to start by going to the record layout and I'm going to start that content with the first name. Simple as that. I'm going to save those changes or if I choose to do so I can go directly into the HTML code and make those edits and changes there. Um, but I'm going to say yes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to order that campaign. I have the website I've associated it with a record layout. So I'm going to go to my campaigns tab, select new. I'm going to execute a personalized URL campaign. Call it Doug's Pearls. Click next. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project, to that folder. I'm going to select that content. Doug's test URL content. Click Next. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that list that I had there. Or I'm going to upload a new list into the record layout format. So I'm going to go to my computer again. I'm going to select a list I have on my desktop here. And I'm going to go to Doug's demo list, upload that into the application, which is simple as mapping fields, which this one predetermined the uh, field mapping, or I could select different fields if I choose to do so. Click Upload. So I have Doug's demo list here of 50 records that are ready for the campaign. Now I'm going to select my starting page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Doug's pearls.web6.l2soft.com. For we have a wildcard domain, so I can put anything in front of web6.l2soft.com that's been directed to the Pearl server. And then I'm going to do first name dot last name as the naming convention um, for this personalized URL. I'm going to test it to see if it will resolve and it seems to work. I'm also going to create an additional field in my record layout to track this specific campaign and house all those personalized URLs in one field in the data list. So I'm going to call that Doug's Pearls. Click Next. Now what I can do is I can go through every single record in the application and you'll see here, Doug's, thanks for coming to your website. You'll see the content swap out here that will say, James, thanks for coming to your website. Or I could jump back to that editor, make whatever changes, and would take me out to this step in the process. The next part would be to schedule when I want it to start. So I'm going to start immediately, and then I'm going to cancel this campaign on Friday because it's only a short windowed campaign. I'm going to select Dynamic which means that any record that gets added to that list in that format is instantaneously going to have a personalized URL created for it, which is great for doing triggered event or tied together continuous communications campaigns. I'm going to acknowledge that my order is correct. 
click submit and now what's going to happen here is I instantaneously get an email that's going to be a link asking me to approve this order because I'm on the approval list for anyone who places an order so then I get to look at the campaign say yes approve that campaign go back to order history and you'll see it says in workflow as I refresh it it's going to change that status because I've obviously changed that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to this website here copy that to a new tab on my browser hit paste and then do Doug actually I'll do slash James Doug Abood and voila I've just executed a personalized URL campaign in a very short amount of time thank you